Welcome back once again, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me. I know there are lots of people doing videos about these Inkvent calendars, so I appreciate you taking the time to watch mine. It's December 14th already, two weeks into the month, so let's see what's behind door number 14. Ah, here we have an ink called Rainbow's End. Looks like it might be blue, or purple, I guess. And it's a chameleon ink. Looking at the bottom of the bottle, that could be some pink glitter. Or I guess it could be silver glitter, and I'm just looking at it through purplish ink. Let's see. Again, I'm going to swatch this on my color ring, on Irofol, and on Midori. Okay, this ink starts off looking pretty blue, but it looks more purple as it dries down, and that pink glitter really starts to show up. The color ends up being pretty similar across all three papers. Maybe slightly cooler on the aerofold, but not much. Here you can see a little bit of that glitter under a single hard light. But here I've set up a couple of lights so that I can try to capture the chameleon effect. And here it's pinkish again, but here it looks more gold. I don't know if that's it, but it's something. Anyway, this ink color is similar to a couple of others that I have, although none of them have pink glitter. This Brill Violet is not far off, and neither is Krishna Overcast Deep Lilac. And for that matter, Mita Sanshoto Lilac is fairly close where it's heavy, and so is Suleika Lavender. And maybe Schaefer Purple, although a lot of these are too purple. But then I have a bunch of inks that are more on the blue side, like Lamy Azurite and Troublemaker Lam Ang, Monsoon Clouds, and Pop Art Purple. I wrote a couple of samples, again starting on Cosmo Air Snow, and then on Ruled Clairefontaine. It's worth pointing out that this was another very wet ink, and at least for the first few words of this Cosmo sample, I got some feathering, which is unusual. I may have had some soap on my nib or something, so let me know if any of you get any feathering with it. I'd be curious to hear. And that's it for today. If you have any pen friends or groups who you think might enjoy these videos, I hope that you'll pass along a link to them, but otherwise, I'll see you back here again tomorrow with another new bottle of ink.